So how cool are these little things? These things are called clam shrimp. Called clam shrimp because it's basically uh, these little animals, which are actually crustaceans. Um, they form a little shell uh, that's clamped together by strong muscles, and in between is a little body. Every once in a while, you see these guys swimming. They have 20 of these little legs they also use to filter food out with. You'll see the body stick out of the actual little clam like shell. Um, most of them are filter feeders, I just mentioned, uh, cleaning out mostly plant material, the detritus that they feed on. Um, and they're pretty neat. Uh, there's tons of different species. I don't want really to know that much about them. But the eggs of these are, are, are much like some of their relatives. They can last for years, up to seven years, in, a, in an old pool or anything like that, a puddle, where eventually when the water comes back in, the Napoli or the, the, um, the babies uh, are born. And then soon after their swimming stage is done, they develop a little shell and so forth. And you end up with these little clam shrimps. So clam shrimps are basically scavengers and filter feeders. And again, they're adapted to living in very shallow water. They, um, they, they are, look like clams because of the shells, but actually are crustaceans and so are and so more closely related to things like shrimp. Um, but a neat little animal that we have. I don't think I can get too much closer uh, for you to tell much more about them. But again, um, these animals I found in a pool, a very, a, basically a gigantic tire rut. So the water must dry out, and so the individuals themselves may die, but the, the, uh, the, the young, uh, the egg, in their egg shape, they can stay years there until enough water arrives for them to uh, start again. Clam shrimp.